President Obama today issues his strongest words to date on the Occupy Wall Street demonstrations. In an interview this afternoon, the president said, quote, in some ways, they're not that different from some of the protests that we saw coming from the Tea Party. One of the most influential and consistent voices in favor of the occupation is Russell Simmons, seen here last week in New York, where he told Mayor Bloomberg that he would pay to have the park cleaned in order to avoid a confrontation between demonstrators and the police. And I'm delighted to welcome Russell Simmons back to our studio. He's chairman and CEO of Russ Communications and, of course, an industry legend. Good afternoon, Russell. You've repeatedly said that this protest must remain outside of partisan bickering, out, not take sides. Why is that so important? Well, I think that we want everybody, to, everybody to, to get this simple message. And I think everybody can digest this message. This idea, I don't think a Republican, for instance, would be happy to know that after they elected an official, that that official was subject to bribery on a regular basis. You know, a Republican has these ideas. He doesn't want to think that his representative is taking money and then, and then um, feeding him, you know, some refurbished idea that he's already gotten from the... So we want the politicians to work for the people. And I think everybody in America wants that kind of democracy, that when they elect an official, that that person represents them. The president's been very careful so far in his public comments on this issue, as you know. Let me show you one of his top advisors, David Axelrod, who appeared on Morning Joe this morning. Watch this. Despite the fact that you all raised a ton of money from Wall Street, is that a wise thing, just talking political here, for the president to do, to get in bed with the Occupy Wall Street movement? First of all, I don't know that he's getting in bed with anyone. <laughs> David Axelrod said the president's not getting in bed with anyone, but would you like the president to align himself more with the protest movement? Well, you know, first let me say this. In this environment, politicians, all of them, have to operate with, with um, an awareness of what game they play. I don't think we should hate the players in the way that they're operating. We should hate the game that allows them to operate in ways that are hurtful to the public. But Every would you, politician. But would you like the president to come out and say? I think there'll be a moment when the president you uh, think he is going to benefit because of most of those signs, if you see the separate, each sign, each message is something that he's addressed. And so I think that, you know, whether it's you know, disbanding of the unions or the prison industrial complex or moving jobs overseas or corporations spending money with politicians, he's always tried to resist or talked about how it would be good with some campaign finance reform. Now, for him to come out by himself and, and make these statements, it could cost him the election. But as it grows, most of what these people are saying, he's been more on their side and championing their causes in more instances than not. And so I think that it's a natural alignment. Even though this is not a partisan discussion, it would end up helping him and some Democrats, those who see the inequalities growing and want to do things with the government that will help those people who are suffering. Speaking of these particular protesters, there's been some reporting that anti-Semitism has begun to emerge. And Did you uh, repeat that? Well, anti-Semitism. Do you repeat that? Where did you get that, from Bill O'Reilly well, or somebody? Let, no, let me show you. A group called the Emergency Committee for Israel has released this advert. Watch this. Political leaders are praising Occupy Wall Street. American people are now occupying Wall Street. Do you support them? Well, I support the, the message. I think it expresses the frustrations that the American people feel. What is happening at the Occupy Wall Street protest? Jews control Wall Street! You're a bomb, Jew. The small ethnic Jewish population in this country, they have a firm grip on America's media, finances... Have you seen any of that? I go down there every day, and I see sweet, compassionate, politically astute people. Uh, I participate in their meditation daily. I, I see these people who have high aspirations for America, who are idealistic, and I don't see any kind of race. I see the most inclusive group that America has to offer. So race, what, what religion. Are these images? There are always going to be images about, you see 20,000 people, they say, and they say that 40 people got arrested and then they report that it was very violent. You know, that was Times Square. I saw on the cover of the paper, very violent. I also saw in one of the papers, this, uh, the pictures of a few homeless people sleeping. They said it looks like Amsterdam. These are college kids. These are the, the nucleus of this. And the message, that overall message that's being given 
is that we want our government to be controlled by the people, all people, but and I for just, the people. I just have to press you on this, though, because this emergency committee would not have put a video like that together and posted it if there weren't sufficient images. And that seemed like multiple cases of people being you know, do deeply you know how many offensive people against... are protesting around the world, Occupy Wall Street? I, I'm talking about what was happening in Manhattan. But do you know how many people have come through there and how many messages are coming through? We understand there are 82 countries where these protests have arisen. Right. It's very easy. If you don't like them, it is true. It is true. There is a, a political poten a potential to, en to uh, enhance the work that Democrats are doing. It's true. And, if, you know, they're not hijacking it, but they may be the beneficiary uh, of some of the efforts. And there are many people who don't like that idea. And there will be infiltrators. And there will be uh, promotions of, of negative things that have, have happened. Um, I'm part of that 100% down there. And I believe that if those people suffer, then I'm suffering. And their message is they're at Wall Street. Because Wall Street controls their future. And they would like to control their future. And it's that simple. So to say they're anti-Semites or they're anti-anybody, it's really easy to find one or two or a few images and, and use them. But we all know, uh, whoever's visited Occupy Wall Street all know that it's a very sweet, astute, politically astute, smart, um, um, compassionate, and loving group. And there's no focus on Jewish bankers, Jewish financiers, there's nothing of that kind. I have not seen any of it, but if there is some, there are a lot of things down there. But mostly, it's a, a, um, a will for America to be better and their efforts to make a more perfect union are being heard around the world and they're being respected. And so if some people uh, don't like the fact that they're, that they're attacking Wall Street and they want to they um, frame it poorly, they can. You, as a responsible journalist, have to go down there for yourself and you have to make an assessment. I, I have been down there. Right. And, and so, I, I did not see any of those signs. Well, I appreciate that. Russell Simmons, thank you very much indeed for joining us today.